está frío, oh my color, 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 oh Alright, so what you think we doing, Jasmine? Huh? What do you think we doing? Fishing. Fishing? What do you think we're doing? Boat riding. I huh? Think Boat riding. Boat riding. I think we're fishing and What you think, Nas? What are we doing? You don't know? Chilling? Alright, well. I see water. I'm not really you, I said boat. we was in I said we was at the water. So we are riding a boat. Huh? So we are ready to go. Are we? God, no, please. I, I don't think I like this. Where are they? I hate boats. What'd they give you then? Huh? I don't think I like this. It's my first time on a boat. First, number one Let's time see. on a boat. This is where we are. Yeah, for the two o'clock, we will take out two boats. Can we go home? No, we cannot go home. Shit, y'all always want to do stuff. I, 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 don't like, I don't like riding boats. Huh? Should've grabbed it down. It wouldn't fit in the car with everybody in the back seat. Oh. I'm coming, let me come over here so I can video the boats. We are going on the water, you guys. Look at all the boats. I think I gotta wipe my viewfinder off, but. What if we go? We are going on a boat ride. What if we drowned? <laughs> We're going on a boat ride. Going on a boat ride. Oh, come on off of there. Oh, uh, we don't have to do this, so can we just do this? Y'all, shut, shut up. This is why we don't do nothing but sit at the house. Yeah, what's the problem? They say, can we go home? I don't want to do this. Oh my God. Say hi. Excited, babe? Yeah. So excited! So excited! We are finally doing something different. She looked like she don't want to be here. She don't want to be here. At all. Y'all suck and y'all are boring. I just gotta go to the bathroom. We're not going that fast. This is where we going. Um, this is where we are. We're going under the sea. These are the boats. I'm not scared anymore because you get to meet Ariel. There's no Ariel. Yes, there is. I want to touch it. I'm about to say, are we moving? But it's floating. There's those barnacles down there. Look, it's fishes in the water. Little fishies. Little fishies. Madison almost fainted. There's small fishies down there. Wait, do we have to get in the water? Yeah. No, we're on a boat. Oh my god, you're baby fishies! Is Ariel I'm standing right here. Close the door, Jasmine. In the front. Yeah. Close the door. Now that you know where we're going and what we're doing, how do you feel? We should have worn shorts. Let's see. I got shorts on. Me too. You're the only one with pants on, babe. What? Besides me. <laughs> but we outside, so. Anyway, how do you feel? Uh, good so far, I guess. Good. How about you? Right there, Dad. How do you feel? <laughs> He's so old. I feel good because I want to see Ariel. She talking about she feel good because she wants to see Ariel. Is that an inside menu? Here we go. Doing. Woo! <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna lie, that was kind of weak. It's 
Fourth of July weekend, y'all. It's supposed to be excited. We're going to try that again in a little bit. Let me go ahead and introduce you to everybody. We've got two naturalists on board. My name is Justin. I was the one outside taking your photo and your tickets. These guys were getting on board. We've got Kyle. He's currently behind the bar. And Kevin Charlie up behind the wheel. Coast Guard regulations do require me to let you know the location of all life saving devices while well on board. Life boats are located up top. Okay. Life jackets are located inside the forward hold and underneath the seat benches. Both of which are only necessary in any event of an emergency. Oh, feel that green, baby. Feel that green. Yes. I am here for it. We do understand that for somebody else, might be your first time out on the ocean or the first time out on the boat all together. If at any point, Feeling you might be prone to motion sickness. If you already know you're prone to motion sickness, we have Dermamine inside for only a dollar. It is a preventative medication, pure. Right. I can't stand up, I have a baby. Better right take here. it sooner than later, so come on inside the cabin and get that Dermamine if you think you might need it. If at any point during the trip you start to not will, but feel well, you want to stay outside on the lower deck. Again, if you start to feel sick, you want to be outside the lower deck. Staying on the upper deck and inside the cabin are the worst places to be. So is the bathroom. If you feel like your lunch might come back and say hello to the world, lean over the rails at the back of the boat, feed the fish. Trust us, they won't mind. Exciting. It is going to be a gorgeous day out on the water. We got a little bit of a breeze though. I know plenty of y'all been coming inside the cabin enjoying our cocktails and our drink and our food. We have trash cans in the back of the boat and inside the cabin. Please go ahead and put your refreshments, when you're done with those with your food and everything, away in the trash can so it doesn't blow off into the ocean. That's the plenty of wearing hats as well. I recommend tightening up your hat enough to squeeze your brain, that way you don't have to worry about it flying off. Oh, I see what they're talking about. Uh... I don't like it. <laughs> no. All right, guys, let's try that again. You guys excited to go see some dolphins? No, uh, not anymore. <laughs> over there. Uh huh? Absolutely no standing on benches. 
Please don't let your kids come up on your shoulders. A couple of tips for you really quick. As you see the dolphins popping up off the uh, front left of the boat. We're not at the front left, babe. You're using your smartphone like 99% of y'all are. Yeah. Brickman, run in Man, video. Man, we're missing the dolphins over here. Like a man is right here. Just run video, that way you can take screenshots later. As you guys have already noticed, these dolphins are fast. Heavy storms coming in and you get all that sea foam on the water. Let me hear a holler if anybody's played in sea foam at the beach. Anybody? Nobody? That's actually a good thing. Sea foam is basically aerosol protein in the water, so if you think about it, it's aerosol fish poop. So never play in sea foam. Oh, I'm jumping. You see him jumping? No. On the camera. Look at the camera. You gotta use the camera to see. How long is he closer? So definitely keep an eye out for smaller dolphins. Those little calves are going to stay with their mom for about three to six years, or at least until the next calf is born. If it's a female calf, it's going to stay with their mom. Typically, we see just female groups out here. calf is a male, it's going to actually, once it passes that three, six year mark, it's going to leave and enjoy other, join other adolescent male dolphins. So yes, that is a thing you can have groups of teenage male dolphins roaming the, the oceans. And the males will only come back on the females during mating season, which is also right now. So yes, we do get to see a little bit of socialization out here. We get full National Geographic. A lot of researchers, permanent researchers, are allowed to use this idea. They don't want to free Willie, you know, let everybody know where those waters are. But with the dolphins, as you see, they're fast, a little bit harder to get a tag on them, and it's much easier just to use photos and recognition to match them. So if you see a dolphin in the water, it's going to be a dolphin. One dolphin last summer, we nicknamed her Floppy Fin. Unfortunately, the trailing edge of her dorsal fin was nicked by a prop on a boat. They got too close, they weren't following along. It healed nicely, it was wonderfully healed. She actually had a cap with her as well um, later on, so she's doing wonderfully. But it made it easy to ID her. And last summer, we saw her one day posted and contacted some other fellow researchers and friends and we saw Floppy Fin. Two days later, our fellow researchers at Cape May Whale Watch Research up in Jersey saw Floppy Fin. She swam from here to New Jersey in just two days. She actually spent the summer bouncing back and forth between Cape May and us, so it's kind of fun. She's like, I want everybody to see me. So if some of these 
dorsal fins. Again, I know they're not coming up that high, but some of these dorsal fins, you might also be noticing what looks like black kind of... Looks like the rest of the are circled up and hunting right now, so when you have a wild animal hunting, you definitely want to keep your distance. Y'all think of the sea down in the Carolinas in Georgia. We can to see it here. It's called strand feed. And that's where the dolphins will push the fish right up into the feed. So basically they push it into the waves, like the waves toss a little bit of maybe spot grubber or whatever. Right onto that kind of smooth area of the beach. Right where it's kind of still wet. The dolphin rides up, grabs the fish, goes back in. This should go without saying, but because some Yahoo in Florida did this, now we have to make sure y'all are aware. If you see dolphins strand feeding, i.e. if you see a 500 pound animal trying to get his lunch, leave it alone. Do not try to pet it. It won't end well. It's also illegal. Alright, so we got the dolphins kind of cruising around right here, reaching away. They're kind of like just popping up on ice in the water. Yeah. Now, I'm going to answer a quick question before anybody asks me. I'm actually surprised nobody's asked me yet, especially the kids. We get asked on every trip, every day, are there sharks in these waters? Especially during the holiday season. I feel like the frequency of that question was quadruple. I am a marine biologist, I do have a master's degree, just to emphasize my science knowledge, and how truthful I am with my science knowledge. So I am going to answer the question before anybody asks me on whether or not these are there's sharks in these waters. This is the ocean. It's salt water. Yes, we do have sharks. We don't believe the media a lot when say there's three white right here. Three whites when they pop up, they're in the water. We have small sharks here. Uh, Kyle actually what are you, why are you going in and out? Camera, uh, see, a 10-foot commercial shark. That might be with commercial sharks out of that 10 feet. 5 of it was just a scale. I would have actually screamed it if I saw that shark. We can see bonnet heads, dogfish sharks, you know, smaller ones. We don't have any sharks big enough or brave enough to go fin the flipper with a highly protected 500-pound mother dolphin. That's why they have their calves here.